Game changers, game changers. I am so excited to be talking to you guys today. How are you holding up during this pandemic? How are you holding up in the house? Ah, we're going crazy, right? I hope you're working on a plan. Hopefully, you're working on a plan. Hopefully, you're not just sitting there waiting for your job to call you back or waiting to see if you have a job or, or waiting to see what the next move is. You've got to be proactive. You always wanted to open that daycare, right? How about that in-home daycare? Now is the perfect time to do that. Perfect time. You've got the time, you've got the resources, and you've got the time to really, really listen, get into my classes, consult with me. Let's do it. Go to www.gamechangers with an S dot expert. And guys, Sign up, get that free consultation. Many of you have already got it and you know I talk to you, we have a great time. I text you, we text back and forth. Um, one of the things that came up that I do wanna mention, one of the reasons I did wanna get on here that's so important. If you are looking to go into a childcare business center or home, do not put a lease on anything. Do not, because your lease really needs to be contingent upon you passing your inspections. Because if you put a lease on somewhere, you're liable for that lease, especially if it's three to five year. And I don't suggest getting any lease under three to five year for that type of investment. 10, if you can, at that rate, if you can lock that rate in, and most um, owners will work with you on longer leases. But you wanna make that lease contingent. That's the key word, I am a realtor. You need my help on that? Give me a call. But you want to make all your leases contingent upon your being able to pass your inspections. And it's certain verbiage that you need to put in the lease and or the offer to the um to the leaseor. So guys, just make sure you're being very careful out here. I've heard horror stories. Horror stories. So please seek consultation. I'm giving you 15 minutes free. Now is the time for you to make that plan B. You got to get up there and do it. Now is the time. You do not know how this economy is going to react on the comeback. You do not know. My prediction is with a lot of these corporations, I know as a um, several business owners, I would definitely be looking at the whole system again. Because why am I going to pay for a building? Why am I going to have overhead? And I've just set up all my employees from home. And they've been working at home for four or five weeks. And I cut back my, my whole staff. So a lot of people are not going to come out of here with the same jobs that they had before. It's a perfect time, guys. Get on over there. Sign up for the classes. Learn. Uh, get the consultation. Learn what you need to do. Learn what you need to do to open your own child care. I've switched up some things. The, the, the site is a little different now. Uh, we have things that are accessible and super affordable, especially now that you're at home and you can take the classes. This is a perfect time for it. Perfect time. But guys, I just wanted to get on here and tell you guys I was thinking about you. I was thinking about you. I was thinking about you. And I want to give a special shout out to De'Ara Hatcher. Guys, I am so proud of her. She started out in one of my third daycare centers that I owned. And she was a um, very, very, very teenager, basically, or just coming out of her teens. Uh, and I gave her her first job and she had a daughter and um, she may have been a little bit older than the teenager, but she did have a daughter. She may have been early, early twenties. But anyway, long story short, Diara continued her career in childcare. Uh, she, she loved it so much. I trained her from the beginning, how to do, how to operate. She worked for me about a year or two and she continued her, her career in childcare. And during this Corona pandemic, I helped her open her own. I was so proud of her. I'm so proud of her. So guys, this works. Um, so those things make me happy when you can really look and understand, especially if you've been in daycare working working all this time, you have to really understand you can make $1,200 to $1,500 just from your home if your home's large enough to have a group home. If it's not and you have a uh, just a regular family home child care, that's anywhere from $800 to $900, 1000 a week. So yes, 
it is beneficial to open your own child care at home. That way you can control the, the narrative. You can control your own finances. You can have special events. You can control how much money you make. It's a beautiful thing. Guys, I see you. I got to go. Be blessed. Stay safe. We're getting through this. And the only way to get through this is to continue to send positive vibes out there. I love you guys. See you soon.